going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bad Gaming. It's the HNIC McAvoy the Don, and I'm back today with the finale of the quarry. So, listen, I've tried to record this intro before. As you see, the production looks a little bit different. I'll explain it in this little blurb. So, this is me recording this intro post game. When I recorded the initial intro, my camera died halfway through it. So I recorded the intro and I got a little bit into uh, the chapter before I realized what happened. And in which case I was able to stop, get my camera back up and running, get a, actually get a completely different camera up and running and recorded the game for y'all. So that's why in the first half, there's no face cam. So grab a snack, relax, kick back and be ready to watch this gameplay. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, welcome to the quarry finale chapter 10 let's get right at it now Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Gotta find Laura. Should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. She must have come back. All right, y'all, we're in the house. I'm coming in now. The table, help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's walk off the door, y'all. Because we know we dropped the car on a nigga. I don't know who that was. What I do know is that a nigga's gonna try to come kill us. And we need to be ready, okay. bro. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Dead ass. ooh. Great. Thunderstorm. Just like the great. cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Badass. Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all no night. No Dylan. No Dylan. Die of hypothermia? No. 
All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right, y'all. Right. We gotta get a vantage point. Let's explore a little bit. You know what I mean? We just back in the house, right? So. I wonder if we can go to Emma and, and Abby, because we know they're in Hackett's office. So let's take a let's take a, a meander over to Hackett's office and see if they won't let us in. I wonder if they even hear us. Hey guys, we're outside. Please let us in. Le, Caitlin and Dylan here. No, all right, cool. Say less. Fuck me. <clears throat> all right, so we can't go join them. So. Here's my thinking. We're gonna look around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look around. Uh, and if we don't see anything, then you'll just join us back upstairs, all right? So we went into the kitchen and we went into like this other room. All we did was shut a window. In that sense, that's all we did downstairs. Uh, so we're on this floor. Let's take a quick left. Let's check and see if there's anything in here interesting. Ooh, light. Good, good, good. Put a name to a big mean face. So what? You're like, huh? Mr. H's brother, I guess. What's she talking about? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier. Oh, I mean, that must be Bobby's dog tags. Okay. Mr. H's brother, I guess. Right. Right. Big, yeah. So that must be Bobby's dog tags. He must have fell off, or he must have dropped them when he was chasing her through the house. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's keep going, bro. Let's keep looking on this side of the map. We're still on the same floor. Ooh, another light. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Huh. Camp letter. Let's let's just read it. Dear parents and guardians, my mother and father opened the package. So just to test the time. Not in danger, muscle form you per year, increase 5%. Times get tough. Doesn't kill you, will make you stronger. <laughs> I love how the Hackett family uh, uh, motto, or my best, my bad. Hackett camp motto is what doesn't kill you, will make you stronger. And it's the whole family of fucking Hackett's Chris, Kaylee, and Caleb all got bitten by a damn werewolf. <laughs> And it didn't kill them, and it definitely dead ass made them stronger. It's kind of a little wink and nudge, bro. Low key. That's foul. But I mean, I guess you got to turn the negative into a positive somehow, bro. You know what I mean? All right, let's go up these stairs real quick. I know this is not forward by any stretch, so we should be good. Let's keep exploring on this side. And then what we're going to do is obviously go across the bathroom and go check the other side after we finish this. So let's let's keep looking up here. Bro, is there anything up here? All these chests. I don't see no lights, though. Light? Nope. No lights. Anything up here at all? Oh! Card! Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out in a traveling show six years ago. A ghost roams the woods of Hackett's quarry ever since she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards once lost in the blaze have found or have allowed her to guide you through the night. Though her motives may not have been transparent as first thought. Oh, uh, see, I was right. So Eliza is the woman who we've been talking to in between each chapter. Because remember, I was like last episode, I was like, oh, she must be his mother. Silas's his mother. I was right. So her mother, the mother's name is Eli Eliza. Gee, me, Christmas, I can't talk. The mother's name is Eliza. The son's name is Silas, and she died in that fire uh, during the traveling show. She blames the Hackett family for that, though. So that's something we gotta keep an eye out, y'all. Let's hopefully, maybe when we switch back to Travis, he gives us some information because, quite frankly, what other Hackett are we gonna talk to? Jediah and, and Bobby in the, in the crib with Kate, uh, Constance, rather. They're not dead, but they just stay in the crib. So they're not talking to nobody. The only Hackett we got is Travis, bro. Chris is dead. Huh. All right, we gaming, bro. We're, we're big gamers, bro. We're good. Let's sling, let's sling ourselves to the opposite side, shall we? 
I don't see anything in this room. Let's check the next room. Recipe's Ian. Cool. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Cool. Mm. Huh? I'm running for deceased camp mascot Ian. When the looks of John Ian was a sheep, the no one got a chance to meet him this year. Ian. Why does it sound familiar, y'all? Did that name Ian ring a bell to y'all? I'm sorry. Humor me for a second. Let's let's let's. Hindsight sounds about right. Well, let's check it after this conversation. We have a camp mascot. But no, we did. But you didn't hear. Hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh. -huh. That's unfortunate. Oh but who is it? bro? Why does that name Ian sound familiar, bro? Here, let's show, let's check the let's check the evidence inclusion shit. That sounds so familiar, bro. That's gonna bug me, bro. What is what? Why? Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, I know what it was. Hold up. There it is. There it is. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? It was the dog, the carcass that we saw at the very beginning. We walked inside the um at the very bottom in the epilogue or that blog, the prologue before the game started. Uh, when we were or Laura and Max, we ran across this dog tag, this dog collar that said Ian, and it was attached to like a body. We're like, bro, like this body's too big to be a dog. I didn't think anything of it, but that's what it was. Okay, it was a sheep cat mascot. Something saw him down in the storm shelter. Chris had to kill the camp mascot on the night Laura and Max were kidnapped. When hiding in the storm shelter, it devoured Ian and to satiate his appetite, it didn't work. Okay, we're going up. On a Tuesday. Got you. Uh. All right, let me stop. Uh, anything over here? Ah, mark about the couch. Green. Where have I seen this emblem before? What? Inscribe jewelry. What? Sorry, let's check. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals it to be long to Bobby Hackett. Okay. Is it a ring with the crest on it? The hack of family crest, probably. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. All right, we're good. We're gaming. Let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. Oh. I remember Mr. H. Just Megaphone would be mouth. hella helpful. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Hello? Hello? No? Oh, bitch. Careful dead. with that. Great. That's a camp relic. We could have used Relax. that. Because think about it. It would have screeched uh, the. RIP, man. That would have been very helpful. Bro, we have been looking around this entire house since we've been in here, and these niggas have not picked up one useful thing. What's this? What's this? Oh, the tapes. Yep, because they've been recording trying to find find uh, Silas. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance. Thank you, Dylan. Room, Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Okay. Y'all, hear me out. I think we found everything. So now we're gonna go back to the middle and I will meet you guys there. Oh, I swear I'm not looking forward to doing this. These niggas gonna kill me. These niggas gonna kill me. How long has this guy been here? That's great, great grandpappy hack it, bro. A long time ago. That is. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> oh, see, I, I. They was going to see that. That's what I'm saying, y'all. You always got to be looking around, bro, because these niggas are always going to just drop you with some special shit. Look at this. Keep looking or prepare for an attack, bro. Which means this is the checkpoint area. We already checked both sides. We checked downstairs. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It's time. We're preparing for this attack. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. I'm here for it. Hands on the sticks, bro. Let's go. Game time, baby. <sighs> Come on, y'all. We're getting everybody out Every tonight, bro. We're getting everybody out tonight, bro. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life. He didn't get on all the lyrics. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. <laughs> that nigga didn't know the lyrics at all. <laughs> that nigga didn't know. Anytime somebody hits you the last word of every sentence you say, he don't know, he don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Both headphones on, y'all. Both headphones on. I just checked the face cam. Face cam looks good. These y'all can see my pretty little mug. Let's get it, y'all. We're here. We're here now. Game time, baby. That damn chimney. Showtime, motherfuckers. You dead ass, bro. Let's go, Caitlyn. No! What is going on out there? Oh, okay, we're in with Should them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, we're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, we're going back. Okay, cool. We're safe here. So they Look sound that. like they're safe. Oh, no. That nigga bust through the painting. Oh, guys, he's here. Uh, what's the option, y'all? What's the option? What's the option, y'all? Do you have a silver shotgun? No, I think these are regular rounds. I think these are regular rounds. We gotta go. If we can run, we're running. If we can run, we're running. Yep. I'm out. I'm out. Come on. Let's go. Let's get to chopping. Let's go. Let's get to chopping. Yep, 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 yep. Shut the door. Shut the door. Thank you. No, we're good. We're gaming. Come on. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did y'all separate? Watch how they can separate. What the fuck was that? Look at the camera, bitch! It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. Huh? But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Something! Help me! Oh, that nigga broke in, y'all. Uh. Why'd she run upstairs, y'all? Uh. Oh, huh? Uh, uh, window! Beam? Did you see how the chimney collapsed? Nigga, I don't trust this house. Get out the window! No! Oh, that nigga right here. Ooh, we out. <laughs> Duck them. I don't know if this is a good idea, y'all. Come on, Caitlin. Come on, Caitlin. Come on, Caitlin! Y'all, I don't know if this is a good idea, y'all. I don't know if this is a good idea, y'all. We're here, though. Oh, that nigga jumped out the window so smooth! Hurry up! Bitch, run! That nigga is creeping! Uh. Hide, 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 hide. He lost track of us. He lost track of us. Hide! I don't know if this is the play, y'all. I don't know if this is the play, y'all. I don't know if this is the play, y'all. I don't know if this is the play, y'all. I'm here, though. Hands on the sticks, though. Hands on the sticks, though. Oh, nigga, no. Guys! Guys, he's working to me! Oh! Oh, he turned! Oh. Oh, come on, Caitlyn. Oh, he, she's gone. She gone ghost. Go ghost. Okay, they're together. They both dipped out. Where are they going now? Oh, we went ghost. Did he lose us fully? No, he didn't. Really? How's he in front of us? What? Why do you have a pot? Oh, y'all. Oh, if it's another silence one, I'm here. I'm here for it. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Your boy's here with it. We're not losing them, y'all. We're not losing them. Not like this. 
Not like this! Hold your breath, Caitlyn. Hold that bitch! Hold it! Strength! No weakness! Okay, slide out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the fuck do we go now? Oh, nigga, no. No, 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 no. Y'all, we have two options, y'all. We can make a break for it, or we can hide in the freezer. Now, we know being in the freezer means niggas are going to be frozen. Well, we're going to be cold. But, but, it takes a while for hypothermia to set in, right? We could book it. Needs to chest that bitch. But there's only one exit. It's just the front. What we're going to do is we're going to the freezer, y'all. Because I think if we run, that's it. I think if we run, that's it. That's my thinking. I hope to God I'm right. I hope to God if, if I think, <clears throat> I think if we go to the freezer, we're good. We're good. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. <sighs> freezer. Come on. Creep, creep, creep quietly. Creep quietly. Can she open it? Oh, she can open it. All right, we're good. She opened the freezer. Path is chosen. The no. No. Is she stuck in there? Oh, for fuck's sake. But Dylan's outside. Oh, guys. Dylan's still inside. Oh, Dylan. Dog, come on, man. But running would have, so they were just dead regardless. That's what this game is telling me. Because if we had ran, that nigga would have washed us. He, he was standing by the entrance. So we were just dead regardless. They were just dead regardless. They were dead regardless. All right. They were never supposed to make it this far. That's my guess. Because there's no way you're gonna tell me that running was the good idea. Yeah, bro, what the fuck happened, bro? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy which i've just put together is silas oh shit it's a long story no it's not there was a fire silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him makes sense burn <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. Dead ass, at no this point. What we did. At this point. Every full moon we were out there at looking, this point. every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. 
So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Fair. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him? Oh, that nigga's behind you! <laughs> uh, hands on the six, y'all. Hands on the six. Oh, bitch. No. Put your hands up. That nigga hit his head! Uh... Nigga, what? Uh... Grab the gun. Grab the gun. He still... Yeah, see, there we go. He woke up. He woke up, see? Have to have faith in niggas sometimes. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get it out. Mm, fine. Listen to him. Listen to him. We're good. Big gaming. Yoink. E break. Bye, bitch. Run his ass over. Run him over. Run him over! Thank you. Thank you. It didn't kill him, but I know it mushed that nigga a little Where bit. Did he go? Mushed him just enough. He disappeared. We mushed him just yeah, enough. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's end this, bro. Let's end this. Crazy? For everyone, bro. Let's end this right now, bro. Oh, good. He's not dead. Are Wonderful. Yet? <laughs> no, buddy. You're okay. Glad you're healthy and not Been dead. Better, but yeah, yeah, yep. Shake it off. Come on. Yep. Shake it off. Nigga, you should have died earlier, bro. You got stabbed all up in your kidney, all up in your shit, right up under your rib, bro. You lucky Over you even still in this car with us, bro. Got some blood. Cool. Let's get that nigga. It's through there. What the hell happened back here? Back where? Whoa. Oh! This is where we went off the Oh, road. okay! We're back where we started. You're back where it all started. You should shoot me in the head right now. <laughs> Go ahead. That's what you want, I won't stop Is that me. what she's thinking? There's what? no way. There's no way that's what you're thinking. You are on bath salts if that's what you're thinking. Thank you. Put that gun down. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? You goddamn right. You goddamn Let's right. Do this. Let's end this shit. Go team. I was like, and I'm here too. <laughs> I guarantee you they expected us to get that nigga washed earlier, bro. It all makes sense now. What? You got wolf blood? Oh! oh the wolf blood from, from oh! When we shot Bobby earlier. Um, oh, shot. that's clutch. There's not enough for the both of us. Oh, that's oh, clutch. That. It's yours. Been through a lot more than you I damn have. right Anyone lord you better you take it alive, it's you give me a choice give me a choice yep yep sorry ryan yep Thanks. the one the one person with the gun they should be a ghost yeah uh yeah no worries i guess you should be ghost real discreet like a thief in the night you hear me come on let's end this Come on, Laura. Mush these niggas. Yeah, we're good. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? Hmm? I thought she was. I thought. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're going right off the road. She was something. Else. Yeah, because she saw the hag early. She saw the hag in the, in the prologue. The old woman, she was saying something over and over again. Silas. Oh, my God, she was saying Silas. Yes. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her, too, in the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voorhees. Silas's mother. Mm-hmm. 
I think. Who was she? Yeah, ask questions. We're not we're not gonna get feisty. Not now. She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Mm-hmm. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. She didn't. That but bitch has been helping us all story. night trying to kill y'all. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? How Answer the question! Are you still hiding stuff now? Yeah! We're here now! You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. She was a werewolf! How are we supposed to know that? What she wanted to do was help that little boy. What little boy? Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What she wait, wait, yeah, what did she do? Did she, did they start the fire? She just wanted to help him. What did she do? Travis! She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. No. No. Because I won't let that I won't let that conversation continue without saying this PSA to y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is why we mind our own fucking business. This is why we mind our own business. She won't do nothing to you. She had her own demonic ass child in a cage for a reason. She had the vision. You decided that you want to get special and free that nigga and cost all this shit on your house. I can't feel sympathy for you when you decide to put yourself in trouble. Last episode, when Jacob got his throat ripped out by Nick, y'all ain't hear me cry about that nigga. What did I say? If he had minded his own business and kept it pushing, we'd all be home. The hackers would still be out here looking for Silas and they couldn't deal with that shit. But no, what did that nigga do? Nah, man, I want my girl. I'm trying to get some coochie. Let me just make sure that we all stuck here. And he was the first nigga that got packed up, right? Because he did not mind his own business. And now we know that the Hackett's are all cursed because Captain save a hoe decided she wanted to free a wolf boy in a fucking cage and got their whole blood lineage cursed with this shit. So now I, as this woman and as Ryan, have to go and free your whole family because you want to save a nigga. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, crew. <sighs> Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. And got yeah. Kayla bit in the process. And then she wasn't even the first one that got bit. That's the crazier part. She was the one who caused us, and then she wasn't even the first one who got bit, bro. We could just kill Caleb, but then this would never end. So we know that's they would know that to be true. Because we kill Caleb. Yeah, everyone else would be free. But guess what? Silas is still roaming and eventually he'd kill us. So you know. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. We're not dumb. Every we know we know Caleb is a half years. measure. We know Caleb is a half Some measure. Hunter you are. And she talking shit. Talking about some wild for six years, you couldn't do it. Bro, if y'all have no clue, bro. That nigga could have felt nostalgic this year. Jesus Christ. He could have felt sluggish this year. Bruh, that's like telling a nigga in, tw in 2020, Maybe. like, hey, man, you not, uh, your game's not up. Damn, I'm like, bro, the year changed, bro. She talking I didn't shit. I know this was here. I'm sorry, I talked over that dialogue, but I was reading it. I'm sorry. I hope y'all reading it, too. That's why we have captions on, so I can talk my shit. Y'all can still hear the game. Ryan, where are you going? 
Go back to the group, Ryan. Ryan? And she almost mushed this thing. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. She almost she mushed this man because he wants to go Captain wander. Shannon. Sam. I'm here for it. My hands on the stick, y'all. We're not getting hold today. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's the nigga we ran over. Yep. Go ahead, blow his back out. Come on. Let's pack it up. Laura, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. What are you waiting for? Why are you uneasy? Shoot your stupid girl. Thank you, Travis. Yes, raise the gun. What is she doing, bro? Why is she having a crisis of conscience right now? Are you sure about this? Shoot. You CTC, clap them cheeks! Pack this nigga up! I don't care. Night, night, Silas. Resquiat Tenpache! Let's go. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. That nigga probably chased one back, bro. That. Dead ass. Too late for that. Yeah, it's, he probably chased one instantly. Good shit. Are we done? Is that the end of the night? Yes. Oh yeah, it had to be. We're with the witch now. Yeah, we killed your son. I bet you think you have it all figured out. Yeah. I bet you think you're fucking clever. A genius. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I About what? I started to like you. Your son is not evil. Now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. In the I've curse? You oh. Night. And I'm not about to stop Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. But fuck her. What's she mad about? You died. You now your son's with you in the afterlife. Dark. You should be thanking me. I made sure that you and your son can be reunited in the afterlife. Where he's not cursed with being a werewolf. We don't have to keep him in a cage. Where y'all can be free. I will never leave you. Go hang out with your son and leave me the fuck alone. I don't care, bruh. I don't care, bruh. Pack this old bitch up too. Bye bye. Daytime, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I know there's probably some sentimental music right now, but because I have all the music turned off, as I told y'all from episode two, uh, so what I'm gonna do is just put a backtrack for you, right? Now. Fire, right? Hope you guys enjoy this music. It felt like this was probably fitting enough for a scene like this. I don't know what the hell they chose, but, um, and I actually don't know what I chose now either, but I hope you guys enjoy the music. It just feels like there should be music here. Yeah. Max Brindley, cure with the werewolves, Chris with Ryan shot Chris Hackett with a silver shell. Okay. Ryan's alive. Chilling on the dock. Mining his sweet and lovely. Bobby Hackett, uninjured. Was able to fend off attack from Chris, his brother in werewolf form. Oh, because we didn't stab him. Thanks to Bobby, fair enough, the werewolf just survived the attack at Hackett's house. Chris Hackett is deceased when his favorite council Ryan shot him with silver. Yeah, Chris, sorry, we had to mush you. I'm not sorry about Constance. She had to get mushed. Cause she was gonna kill Laura, bro. We couldn't have that happen, bro. Damn! <laughs> I have to refuse to help us. Nah, man, you should have had the damn thing, bro. If he had had the road arm, I'd have saved him. 
Kaylee Hackett, we couldn't do nothing for her. She just got mushed uh, indiscriminately. Hey, Nick! Glad to see you alive, bro. So when Silas killed, that saved her. All right, Abby was safe because of uh, Hackett's surveillance room. This bitch survived the night. No, don't, don't blink your eye in the sunlight. Damn, Dylan. I'm sorry, dog. Froze to death in a freezer when nobody came to free her in the morning. Come on, dog. So you mean to tell me them bitches were watching the com comms the entire time? No one thought to check the kitchen? They just stayed in the room, bro. Terrified the counter with Silas, finally saw an in end. Ryan was killed. Where was perfection? We shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Killed Silver Shell, carrying every effective person who survived the night. So Laura ultimately was like the OG, the big protagonist, bro. And their Silas folded like a bitch on some, on some, on some. It, probably in his cage. That's probably his, actually his OG cage. So you mean to tell me? We saved Caitlyn from dying to the where to, to Kayla, but she still died because nobody went to check the freezer and she froze to death. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, as you see the con the credits are still rolling on behind me, but it doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that was the finale of the quarry. It has been a wonderful playthrough. We lost Caitlyn and Dylan, and I don't know that there was even a way to save them. So, <laughs> by the time you guys see this outro, you'll know what would have happened if we had ran. Because when I finish this outro, I'm gonna go back and run it again and see what happens if we hit run. Uh, and I would have attached it right behind the freezer section to show you what the result would have been. I don't know why I'm recording this outro, but you've already seen it. Guys, thank you so, oh, so very much for all your love and support through this series. Tell your friends about it. the series is over now. Tell your peoples about it. See if anybody else had a better ending. See if there was ever a way to save everyone. I know Jacob was savable. We didn't save him. But I feel like, obviously, like I said, without knowing for, for guarantee that I had to have done something crazily different to save Caitlyn and Dylan. It feels like when we got in that kitchen, we were supposed to die regardless. They didn't, we weren't supposed to make it out of there. That's my feeling after thinking about it. But who knows? You guys would, well, you guys know. I, I don't know now, but you guys know. Uh, I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a little sabbatical from games like this, maybe about a month. We're gonna start playing a couple more shorter gameplays. I got a couple horror games that I'm, I'm gonna start playing through the channel. Uh, I got a couple games on deck with some of my friends. You guys have already seen one of them earlier this week. And you'll be seeing some more over the following weeks. And tell me, hey amen, what y'all thought I should have done different in the comment section. What y'all think I should have done differently throughout the gameplay. Because honestly, I feel like if I had to give myself a score out of 100, bro, that was at least an 85 to 90, bro. I, I mean, your boy was chefing it up, bro. And the people we lost, honest to God, Honest on, on everything, the only person I'm upset we lost was Caitlyn. I'm gonna go and rest up and very, very soon we'll be back with another super massive banger in House of Ashes. But until then, y'all already know what to do. Your boy's gonna stay at it and I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder?
Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say, but perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill, probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes. Allegedly. Allegedly, yes. of course. That's th that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
their great, great, great grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of this, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My god, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, 
This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just... Say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. What do you think of this? Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. 